Why I abandon Afghanistan for the dreaded Taliban? President Ghani, after fleeing the country. Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. God bless you for stopping by. And God bless you for being part of this channel, guys. This is a new week in the new month of August that is fast, you know, coming to an end. God bless you, guys. As you obviously know, it has been in news for some days now that the president, one of the country, Afghanistan, decided to flee after the dreaded Taliban invaded the whole capital and he has to abandon the country for him. You see, when evil started, you know, coming up at the early time, Okay, I'm not talking about precisely on him now because it is not today this issue started just like what is happening in this country called Nigeria. Boko Haram has started. They are coming up gradually by gradually as we speak. The whole north is being destroyed. The whole north is being ravaged as we speak. But if the world powers will keep looking at them, Keep looking at Nigerian government, sponsoring them, doing all manner of things just to take over. You know, there will be a time they will extend to the entire country to take over the country. Of which is the plan of the external powers that is, you know, sponsoring them and their religion. Okay? Alright, having said that, you can, you can, you can find out that... In Afghanistan, this is exactly how they started, like Boko Haram, bandit, Fulani, Hesmen, and all the rest of them. And these people started fighting their government. They started fighting their government. As we speak, Afghanistan is being taken over by Taliban. The president decided to flee, use his life, and do better things. Guys, and looking at the whole thing, America is going to withdraw if they have not withdraw their soldiers guys it is what it is now but the news is this we want to bring to us the reasons why the president decided to flee he said by himself this is the reason why he decided to you know flee the country and these people took over but anyway before we get the details of this news guys I will crave indulgence to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell notification if you've not done so. You might have been watching this channel without subscribing. Encourage us by doing so. God bless you for doing that. Let's get the details. The Taliban, who have rampaged across Afghanistan in recent days and earlier on Sunday entered the capital, Kabul. Are on the verge of declaring that they have taken control of the country. Afghanistan embattled President Ashraf Ghani, who fled the country on Sunday, has addressed the people of the Asian nation, stated that the reason why he left. Ghani has joined his fellow citizens and foreigners in a rampage fleeing the <laughs> advising Taliban citing the end of a 20 year western experiment aimed at <laughs> remaking Afghanistan guys are you hearing this right up it is the westerner that is sponsoring all these things just to destroy that country so that they will take over. Guys, this is exactly the same thing happening in Nigeria. The people that need to rise up to speak, all of them kept mute. Look at what is happening in the southeast of that country. Blood is flowing on daily basis. They are using the soldiers, they are using the army, because they knew very well that they cannot subdue the people of South, especially the South Easterners. That's why you see 
the world is hearing that there is a silent genocide going on in that part of the country. They all kept quiet. In order to allow their sponsored, you know, terror group to take over the whole country. What is the aim? It's just to take over everything about the country. But it's not going to be a free field for them. Let's continue. He said, the former president of Afghanistan left Afghanistan, leaving the country in a difficult situation. I have not read this thing, guys. I pause here. I have not read this news before I started making my analysis from the beginning of this particular broadcast. You see it. It did not start from the hand of this particular president. The predecessors has hand in it because they never tried to do, put things aright. That is why this particular present one is finding things difficult that made him to leave. Did you get it now? These are what the man is stating. He said the former president of Afghanistan left Afghanistan leaving the country in a difficult situation. God should hold him accountable. Associated Press News Agency report that Ghana fled out of the country. However, a report by I Al Jazeera indicated that, or indicated that, the president might have left for whatever uh, uh, Tajikistan. You know, I'm not from that place, so I cannot, I may not pronounce it well. They know what Tajikistan means. But in his statement addressed to the people of Afghanistan, Ghani said, in the name of Allah, the most uh, gracious and the most merciful. Dear countrymen, today I came across a hard choice. I should stand to face the armed Taliban who wanted to enter the palace or leave the dear country that I dedicated myself to protecting and protecting the past 20 years if there were still countless countrymen they would have been around and they should face the destructions and destructions of Kabul city the result would have been a big human disaster in the six million cities the Taliban has made it to remove me they are here to attack all Kabul and the people of Kabul in order to avoid the bleeding flow. I thought it was best to get out. Taliban has won the judgment of sworn and gone and now they are responsible for protecting the countrymen's honor, wealth and self-esteem. Didn't they win the legitimacy of hearts? Never in the history has dry power given legitimacy to anyone and won't give it to them. They are now facing a new historical test. Either they will protect the name and the honor of Afghanistan, or they will prioritize other places and network. Many people and many are in fear and are unreliable in the future. It is necessary for Taliban to assure all the people, nation, Different sectors, sisters and women of Afghanistan to win the legitimacy and the heart of the people. Make a declared plan to do and share it with the public. I will always continue to serve my nation with an intellectual mo moment and a plan to develop. Lots of things involve. Let's make more things happen. Lot more. For or talk for future, long live Afghanistan. Guys, I will not continue to read. The, the thing is very, very large. Uh, we have hit the point. We have hit the point. He said, instead of the blood continue to flow, that he better leave. These people are being sponsored by the world powers. They are being spo spo sponsored by the, you know, Western powers, and here they are. They should come up with a plan for the country. Anyway, we keep our fingers across. Let's see how it goes, guys. This is it, and this is basically it for you. Let's keep fingers across, our ears open, and here, see what is going to happen in Afghanistan. Thank you for watching. God bless you for being part of this channel. Please endeavor to subscribe. 
on your bell notification for more updates. Bye for now.